Ah, soldier. How glad I am to see you again. I'd started to wonder if I ever would. Maybe I thought our paths would cross on their own. Or maybe I wasn't sure what you'd make of me. I've changed so much. But then again, you have too. I can't tell if that's admiration or revulsion on your face. Or maybe something else entirely. I'd ask you what you'd been up to for six whole months, but then I'd have to reciprocate. And I'm not sure you're ready for the truth. Let us test that theory. Do you remember how my favorite food used to be mutton chops? I'm now far more interested in... Well, brains. True. But I've found ways to maintain my values while respecting that which I am. That which made it possible for me to live. I've made arrangements with a healer in the city. When a patient is beyond saving, but still able to speak for themselves, they're offered a choice. They can go as nature intends to take them, or when they're ready. When their goodbyes have been said, their affairs settled, and all that awaits them is pain, I relieve them. When I consume their brains, I am nourished by much more than the physical nutrition. Their memories, from birth to death, become part of me. I've lived hundreds of childhoods, first loves, marriages, feuds and friendships. I remember them all. And in this way, we all live on together. I think of you too. This life of ours, soldier. It's a long one, if we're lucky. Who knows what the future holds for either of us. It's been wonderful to see you again. Reminds me of old times around the campfire. We used to think becoming a mind flayer was a fate worse than death. I wouldn't trade my life, this life, for anything. Funny how things change, isn't it? Enjoy the night, my friend. I know I will. <laughs>